Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Okay, trying a whole new setup today. Well, old new setup. New old, however you want to put it. I sort of cinematized my A7 IV. I put it back on the Anton Bauer battery kit because I just seriously want more battery life. And I was going to put the top handle back on because I miss it, but then I decided to sort of build it out a little bit. So I have the two side handles, the small rig handles, put into the cage, and then at the top I put a the field world monitor just so that I could see better because now with the handles and all the cables and shit coming out of here, it makes it a little bit more difficult to see the screen. Today it kind of was sort of maybe almost sunny and now it looks like it's going to rain even though it's not supposed to and it's 81 and totally overcast. So who knows what's going on. Now yesterday when I was on my walk, I had my glasses on and a wasp was like dive bombing my face. So at one point I went to smack it off my face cause it sort of landed over here. And when I did that, I hit my glasses with my finger and slammed them into the pavement. Of course, I, well, you're not gonna be able to see it, but I scratched the shit out of the top of them. But more importantly, I scratched the lenses up badly. So one of the, the scratches, of course, is like right at my freaking pupil level right here on my eyeball and they're unwearable now. So I'm gonna head over to the Pearl Vision because uh, I believe that I bought insurance on them so that I get one like total replacement. If not, I mean, I got to do something else because I can't wear these freaking things now because the lenses literally are, both lenses are scratched up. It hit the pavement pretty hard. Let's go get my glasses fixed. Okay, kids, I went to the Pearl Vision at the exchange. I mean, a completely different person working there, but keep in mind, I went in January and I was told that I didn't buy the protection plan. And I was like, no, that's bullshit. I would have never not gotten the, the plan because shit happened. She's like, yeah, sorry. No, you don't have the protection plan. So in other words, fuck you. Obviously I'm less than thrilled with that. So I decided screw it. I'm just going to go back to the Pearl that I had been going to for several years. And the only reason I didn't go there in the first place was because when I went there, their optometrist, that, that, that was their last day. I couldn't get an appointment and I needed to get glasses. So I was like, all right, let me look around and see where there's some other places to go. And it turns out I was like, oh, there's one on the exchange. That's not too far. And the optometrist was there and I was able to get an appointment and blah, 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 and get everything taken care of one shot. Well, learn my lesson. Screw them, never going there again. So anyway, so I went back to the Pearl that I have been going to and I was just going to see how much it's going to cost me to get these freaking lenses replaced because I can't wear them because there's so many like gouges on there that I can't see right and it's going to mess with me. And wouldn't you know it, the one day a week they're closed, Thursday. So once I like went up and pulled on the door and sat there like a dumbass with a you know, deer in the headlights, dumb dog stare trying to open the door and couldn't understand why it was locked. And then I saw the sign that said it was closed. I was done. I'm done with today. I'm done with dealing with any of that shit. So I'm going to go into the woods and walk around and find my Zen, but I'm waiting for some packages to be delivered first. So they're only like five stops away. And I thought, no, there's no point in me driving away and driving back. I'm just going to sit in the parking lot like a dumbass and wait for the UPS truck to show up and get my stuff. And that'll be that. I'm actually pretty hungry too. So I might have to get something to eat, but it's not like you're coming with me to do that. All right, enough whining. Let's go get some loot. Okay, kids, here we go. This is uh, something different. I just don't have time to go anywhere. And I'm, I'm kind of stuck for uh, even an idea of where to go that I haven't already been a thousand times. And I've been playing with this setup. You'll get to see it in there. Basically, I have my A7 IV in its cage, but then I have it mounted to the Anton Bauer battery. I got the 120 millimeter Arca Swiss plate today. So I have that mounted to the bottom of the Anton Bauer battery so that it sits down and, and doesn't tip at all. And then I have two small rig side handles mounted on the sides of the cage. And then I have a small rig NATO mounted monitor holder at the top of the cage. And I have my Field World five inch monitor mounted to that. And then of course I have the Rode Wireless Go receiver on the cold shoe of the cage. And you can see the transmitter that I always have on here. I know it drives people crazy that I put the microphone and make it visible. But I mean, that's why I've got my little devious monkey sticker on there because self-promotion, right? The other thing that I was doing is I've been playing with my S22 
and I've been using this setup here. So I have the small rig phone holder and it's kind of neat, folds down like that. And then you can eh, change the angle of how it sits. You can also change the orientation of how it holds the phone. And then at the bottom of the base, that opens up like little rabbit ears and you can set it down and it does a pretty good job of, of holding everything. Now, the other part about this is when you put it together, it has Arca rails built into it. So they just slide into any Arca clamp. You just put it on whichever phone. And uh, truth be told, because I put that almost worthless little stand on the back of this case, it, you have to sort of mount it. it. It just barely fits before it starts touching the button over there. But I'm remedying that by buying it. I bought a new case today. I got new cases for the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I got two Taurus clear cases that had the built-in kickstand on the back, which is what I should have done in the first place. And then I realized that this isn't going to hold on here either because of the curved nature. Well, it's not because of the curved nature of the case. It's because of the shitty nature of the kickstand that I bought not adhering to the back of any of these cases. It's literally fallen off. I bought three of them, one for each phone and every one of them has fallen off. So I'm not comfortable with that. So I decided to just spring for new cases. It's, it's not like I don't buy things twice anyways, sometimes three times. So anyways, I've been using this. I just took a, an Instagram picture. It's 87 degrees out and, and it feels like it's about 95. I'm not in the direct sunlight. If I was, one, I wouldn't be out here. Two, I'd have the umbrella up. So I just, I don't know. I wanted to do something different. I wanted to get the hell out of my office. So I came outside here into my patio area, decided to just finish up this, this video today. So not as much exciting today as yesterday. So no accidents with exploding lumber on the highway, no vehicles on fire that I've found today so far. And you know, I've just been doing day job stuff other than driving to go see if I could get these things replaced. Basically, that means I'm going to get cornhole and I'm going to have to buy glasses again because I can't wear these. Like the, the scratches and the grooves are too deep in them and I can see them everywhere I look. So that's not cool. Um, I don't really care about the scratches along the top here, but that really blows. So I think in the meantime, I'm going to have to dig out my old Ray-Bans and um, I might have to go through a headache for a couple of days until I get used to the, to the changed prescription. But you know, got to do what you got to do. I am going to go to the Pearl that I should have gone to that's, that's close to me here tomorrow morning when they're open and see, you know, what I can do, which is basically going to be nothing. Um, you know, so basically I'll have to buy new, new lenses at, at the very least and go from there. So that's it. That's the excitement of my day. I do have some day job stuff to finish up, but again, I just felt like getting out of my office for a little bit. We'll continue the sag of the glasses tomorrow and uh, whatever else fun comes up. I, again, I don't think it's supposed to be as warm as it is today, tomorrow, and I don't think it's supposed to rain. So maybe we'll go somewhere, maybe the botanical gardens. I haven't been there in a while. I was thinking about going today, but I had just too much shit to do around here. So, all right, enough. That's all you get for today. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.